Okay, hello everyone. This is John Simonson, Wild Rivers Trout Unlimited Chapter. Today I'm back in Brule Fish Hatchery, and we're going to discuss the Brule Fish Hatchery with Angelica Comarin. Yep. And uh, she is the. I'm a fisheries technician here at the Brule Fish Hatchery. Okay, and can you tell us about the Brule Fish Hatchery? Yeah, so the Brule Fish Hatchery is an outdoor hatchery uh, built in 1927, expanded through the 70s and um, we have eight ponds here, 15 raceways, uh, a lot of room to raise fish. Uh, our water source is the Little Brule River, um, which then empties into the Big Brule River. Um, we can raise up to 800,000 trout here. Wow. This year we have 404,000. That's all? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all brown trout? All brown trout this year. In the past we've raised coho and steelhead. Um, those have gone to Lake Michigan, but brown trout may mostly for um, Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. Okay, and then you get them in the fall? Yep, so we end up getting them in August. They come in at about three inches. Uh, we raise them for nine months and stock them in May or early June, late April. Okay, and okay, these brown trout, there's 400,000. Okay. Where are they going? So we've got 225,000 that are gonna go back to Lake Michigan. Uh, so the fish that left the other day went to Port Washington. Uh, so they have a six hour trip heading back. There's some that go to Kenosha, Bailey's Harbor, all over the place on, on tributaries of Lake Michigan. And then we also have Lake Superior where they get um, put onto the research vessel, the hack noise, and then they get brought out into the lake where they get uh, scatter planted um, all the way from Superior to Ashland to Saxon Harbor. So all the way in between there. Wow, oh, okay. Yeah. And so the truck we saw the other day, which will be part of this video, Absolutely. that was 18,900... 996 on there. 18,996 brown trout on that truck that day, weighing in at uh, 1,716 pounds. So. Wow, wow. Yeah. And what was interesting, I watched you the other day calculating. Can you kind of explain how you know there how yes. many brown trout are on that tanker? Yes, so originally we take a bucket of water and we put it on the scale, zero that bucket, and then we dump some fish into the bucket, and let's say there's five pounds of fish in that bucket. Um, our coworkers go out and they count how many fish are in those five pounds. That gives us how many fish are in one pound, ultimately. Got it. So we don't speak in inches, we speak in fish per pound. Okay, okay. So by the time, from that bucket, they're counting them when they dump them back into the pond. Mm -hmm. So you know exact number and the weight of that. Yep. 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 And then when they go on to the truck, um, we know how many pounds of fish go on to that truck by using a displacement meter. The water level on that truck is going to raise by so many uh, millimeters, and we know how many pounds uh, of fish it takes to raise the water level of one millimeter. Which we saw the other day. We did. Yeah. Yes, we did. That was so cool. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then you also do tours here? We do do tours, yep. So Tuesdays and Thursdays we do tours at 10 o'clock and 1, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, those run all year round. And then if you ever want to stop by for a tour, you're welcome to call and we can set up a schedule for you to do a tour whenever you'd like. Yeah, you're right off Highway 27, just, right just off south 27 of Brule. Too, yeah. Right. Yep. And then um, in August, we have? We have Family Fun Day. Yay! Yes, yes. Uh, Wild Rivers Trout Unlimited helps us yes. with that. Douglas County Fish and Game League, Rural Sportsman's Club. Right. We've got a bunch of people that come out here and help us with that event. Uh, we end up having fly tying, fly casting. Um, we have t-shirt painting. We have over 24 activities for children and families to do. We even include a free lunch that day. So. Um, get up, up to 300 visitors that day and it's a really really good time yeah it really is it's yeah. a fun event i love yeah. going to it and then you also the kids get to catch fish which yes. i was just looking at yes. them over there there's yeah. some big brown trout yes, in there there is there <laughs> is yep so they get pretty pretty excited about that okay super uh anything else you want to add as far no, as I, you know this place is beautiful you yeah, guys are is. welcome to come out and check it out anytime uh generally there's someone here seven days a week so uh, you can always come and chat with one of us. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, you can always call and stop by. And we got some information about the rule, 
or uh, yeah, if you have questions about other fisheries activities, we can typically find the answers. Great. Yeah, and I just want to point out, behind you are the ponds. Yes. Yeah, right. So With 40, 400,000 five-inch brown trout. Yep, yep. So they're all down in those ponds right now. They'll be going out over the next month here. Right. So. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It is early Tuesday morning. I am here to watch the Brule Fish Hatchery staff transfer trout from a pond to the hatchery truck to be delivered to Lake Michigan. Um, it depends on the truck. The trucks are all different sizes. Some of them can fit up to 1,800. These are 1,400. Like Darren likes to keep it at 1,000. Uh, 1,400 pounds? If you're not driving that far, huh? Yep, 1,400 pounds. Some of them will, will hold 1,800 pounds. Wow. You got that thing cranked, Ange? Just hold off for a second. Let him know on the radio. Okay. Kyle, you got that pump cranked? They're coming, but it's slow. You gotta turn it up more. Yeah. Pin four. They're going. Oh, we're good. Good. Now they're going all the way from here to the truck. How do you know when you have enough? So yeah, we'll walk up by the truck, John, and, and see that part of it too. Okay. Um, so Kyle's keeping track of that. We're going good now. So those guys are putting fish into that hopper. Right. This pump sucks them up into here, spins them around, goes down in here, up to the tower there, where the fish are going to come this way, out this light pipe, and the water is going to go back down this way. So he's actually not getting any water on his truck right, right. now. So those little flashes I see in the hose. Those are the fish. Yep. All those are the fish. Yep. Thousands of fish. Yep. 
So they're in the water the whole time, you know, there's yep. those tubes up until the tower right here where the water goes one way and they go out onto the truck. Wow. So it's, it's actually much nicer on them than netting them the whole time. You bet. You gotta stand back and try to... And see the whole wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. Yeah, and you can see them too going up, going up to the tower. Yes. There. Wow. So now Kyle just switched over to his last compartment, which means we have about 500 pounds left to go, or a little over that, I suppose. Um, so you get 500 in three different compartments? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, a little over. Right. Yeah, is that, I put that t-shirt on there thinking that the fish would not get caught in the sock as much? I pull the sock up. You just roll it up? Yeah, okay. Our other sock was pretty uh, rough shape, so. Uh, 200 pound warning, yeah. Just let them know you're in the third compartment. Hey guys, I'm on the third compartment. I felt kind of dumb there for a second because the, the push it, the push it talk button, it's on the front, not on the side. Yeah, it's kind of goofy, I know. Yeah. It's like, well, you can see them so, down there. You know how we did those weight counts down there? Yes. So when these fish go into this truck, they know um, how many millimeters the water is going to raise by how many pounds go onto this truck. Really? Okay. So that makes sense. If you put a one pound brick in a bucket of water, right. it raises the water. So right. we know how much that raises on these trucks. So that's, okay. wh that's how we're measuring the pounds on this truck. Got it. Huh. That is cool. Say, like, you can look at that one. So like, I need to hit 276 okay. on, on the, the gauge yep. to get my 570 pounds. And, and Jeff can even look, I'm not lying. I see that, yeah. 276. <laughs> <laughs> what a good on that one. Yeah, and we've got oxygen going on these trucks, so that's what this bubble line is. Yeah, I was here. wondering about oxygen because the yep. browns want to settle to the bottom they and do. everything. Yeah. Yep, yeah. And then there's also an aerator too, which I don't have off right now because I don't have a truck running. Okay. But like to flip the lid open on that one. Yeah, I was going to say you have this one. I have that one running because it's. Loaded, but. Oh, yeah. So that creates some shock and helps uh, make sure that the water doesn't get oversaturated with oxygen. Okay. Gives them a little current. You guys got this down to a science. It is. This is it's cool. Kind of funny. It's kind of funny. It is cool. All right, it looks like. So you're going to take this to Port Washington, and then these tanks are full of trout. Right? Yep. Brown trout. Brown trout. And then you're going to empty them out through the hole at the bottom? Yep. Okay. Yep. And there'll be how many thousand pounds? So it'll be about 1,700 pounds. 1,700 today, pounds. Which will amount to 18,945. So 18,945 trout. So wow. half of Port Washington's quota, so they'll get another load next week. Okay. That's amazing. 